we are ready to do our filming today and as promised we're going to do a bit on feet and um, sometimes they get a build up, I'll show you on this one, sometimes they get a build up of debris in between their pads here and it can be really sore so what we'll do today is we'll just go over checking them and then show you how to get rid of any any mats because and sometimes it can be mud that builds up and you might not notice it and you think well they're walking a bit funny but the most important thing is just to check in between their pads and then if there is anything in there you need to know how to get rid of it we're all in lockdown so lockdown hairdos are allowed and uh, so poor Gia she's needing all over done but she's quite a good model so in fact she's a beautiful model uh, we'll do a little bit on her feet and then we'll move on I've got some ears to do so a bit of ear plucking she could do I can probably use her and Willow um, some people pluck ears and some people don't I've always plucked ears I think mainly because I, I, my lines tend to have slightly narrower ear canals G is she's not actually that bad but um, some of them can get quite narrow ear canals and then if you allow the wax in here to build up there's a blockage and then we don't want that no we don't want that so it, it's up to you have a feel get your fingers in and uh, see what you feel if you can I can get two finger and thumb I can get finger and thumb into Gia's ear canal which is great because if there's anything in there I can get it out and they really love it so it's a it's a nice wee treat but we'll start on our feet because that's where I said I would start so we'll do feet first and I'll move on from there but we'll do separate videos so that if you're only really interested in ear plucking, you can see that. And if you're really interested in tidying up feet and legs, you can see that. So we'll start with feet. So if you want to come a bit closer, Ryan, we'll, uh, I think, her back feet. You see, what is that? We'll start on this one, okay? So just pull back that top coat of hair. And what you see, if you see in between these pads, She's got little mats, which don't cause a massive problem, but they can do if they get big. So all I'm going to do is just whip them off. It's as simple as that. And then let's make sure I've got it close as I can. It's, it's, it's important that you, <laughs> you do not touch that bit of skin, because that would be incredibly sore for them. I know, but I didn't touch it, did I? So all we're going to do, that's your mat there. Look, you can have that. They do quite like to see what you've pulled out of them. So, I think we've got another one here. So, even, if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm putting my finger in there. It shouldn't bother them too much. What it does is it just pushes that mat up. Gee, I get your smells like to me. <laughs> you don't need to see that. So, yes, yeah, so it shouldn't bother them too much. You don't have to take the whole mat off to start with. Just take a bit off and it lets you see what's underneath. There, see? this there. You can have it. Don't eat it though. So I can go a bit closer with this quite confidently. It's a little bit. Take it out again. And when you get closer down and you're a bit nervous about going too close to the skin, you can just tease it away with your fingers. Get your nose out of the way. And then if you can loosen it up enough, you might just be able to pull it out. She's a good girl though. Yes, just take a wee bit closer. Just a wee bit closer every time. It's okay. Right, and the same with the underneath in here. These are the bits that are really important that you clear. She's really good. Well, he's not got anything bad in there. But if you were to do that, all you're going to do is reverse the process. I'm trying to come around, come around a wee bit. What are you looking at? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Might be better with this foot actually. Right here. There we go. So in in here, this is where you make it little mats, build up of mud, that kind of stuff. Depends where you exercise them. But again, I've got my fingers pushed through the other side. She's not got any mats. So it's difficult to show you what we've got not got, but it gives you an idea. If you put your finger in the other side, you push through, then you'll be able to see what's in here. It doesn't all have to be done in one day. Make sure they're calm. See was not barking. Theo, be quiet. There you go. Hi, Mabel. And then if we want to give it a wee trim, 
nice sharp scissors. Don't have to do it quickly. Wait till they're sleeping and give them a nice wee tidy up. Um, snowballs. A lot of people have spoken about the snowballs. So if you get rid of this bit here, here. Now don't be hacking into, I mean, you can take a bit of this out, but the one thing you don't want to do is pull all this hair out between the pads, which is tempting to do, I guess, but I don't really like it. I think if you pull all the hair out of there and then you cut that bit there, you end up with kind of weird looking feet. So I think it's always best to have a nice, neat, round foot. And then uh, just take away wee bits that are sticking out. Oi, settle down. And here, gee, yeah, pack it in. There we go. Just trim all that up. If you hold the paw like that, it keeps it nice and stable. It shouldn't annoy her too much. And then all we're doing is we're just going to go around and take all these, oi, gee, yeah, take all these bits out. He was like, I would have been so much better at this, Mum. <laughs> you should have me up there. We'll have you up in a minute, Mabel. I think your feet are needing, a, yes, her feet are needing a wee trim as well. So just excess, but you, you really don't want to just pull all that and cut it. Because it, there is tension there, but just keep it short, that's all. Short, neat and round, is what I would su suggest. Um, thin scissors for this bit. Right, for the, the back here, especially for snowball weather. Scissors are a bush. Hang on, I'll find the right ones. There you go. Right, you can keep this a bit shorter. It doesn't, again, going back to feathering, Spinoni shouldn't have feathering. So, it, she's standing up now. <laughs> if you see they've got a lot coming back here, it, it, it's... Oh, come on. Yeah. So yeah, if you see they've got quite a lot of length here, with thin scissors, not straight scissors, don't want big straight lines, you can just take some of the weight off that. And again here, I'm just going to do dew claws there, but <laughs> she's got any. <laughs> um, there's a wee mat here, so the thin scissors, again you always want to make sure you know where the mat starts and the, where the skin ends and the mat starts. That's it, and again just take the weight off here. With thinner scissors, you don't have to be too precise because, as you see, it, just moving around is is fine just to keep it neat, neat. But you're not getting those straight lines that a straight pair of scissors would give you. So we're going to make them all nice and neat, nice and short, no snowballs. If you're lucky enough to have snow like us, and that's about it as far as the feet are concerned. I would try and maybe. If you've got a tight enough angle, I'm going to show you this bit again. So you can see, you put your finger through that side, mm -hmm. push it through, and then that's when you can clear any mats. And it does make such a difference to uh, give, give them a check, because if there is any build up, it's really uncomfortable for them, but they might not tell you. Humans, but not that not that clever. Again, just keeping it nice and short, nicely tidy. And again, because we're on lockdown, we, we have to take charge of our own doggies. Uh, and if you've never done it before, and I've had a few messages from people who have never groomed their own dogs before, uh, and they're doing it now, and they love it. So that's, for me, that's the best indication that we're doing the right thing. And um, it might give us that confidence to just do it forever from now on. Once you find out, it's not, there's no mystical art to it. Just the right gear and a little bit of confidence and patience. Again, see, just, I should, I should go down the way, but taking a little bit of the length off there. Uh, and then again with with the feet, make sure they're all nice and down. And we're just gonna 
tidy them up. Gia, I know you're just switching up off the table. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Let's dig in with the feet. Can you use straight scissors down here? Just give them a wee tidy up. And we'll check the pads. The pads are all fine. Here's little Willow. She says, is it my shot yet? Right, that's about that. We'll move on from there. I'm going to do tail. Yeah, we'll do tail next. So that's it for the feet. If you've got any more questions, you want me to cover anything else, just give us a shout and I can go back over it because Gia's not been the best model ever because she's a bit like, she's staring at guinea pigs to be honest. So she's, she's um, quite interested in getting over them to uh, watch them for a while. But I'm going to do her tail. So if we, we cut here and then we'll move on. <laughs> 